Good afternoon, YouTube. It's your man, all the way to page, coming to you live, live on YouTube. As you know, a while ago, I did a video where I mentioned uh, um, this lady here, Amanda, the real Dis Serrano, is having a boxing match coming up tonight up against the uh, Diana uh, Santana. And, you know, she's an amazing bike boxer. She has a you know, pretty good record. I think she's, uh, like I said again in your video, she's 38 um, with a, she's 38, one and one, you know, 38 wins, one loss and one draw. And um, she has a, you know, like I said, she's also, she does in May. And, you know, and this is something we, 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 we're so much on Chris's shields about her doing in May, but it's been quite a few boxers. And, you know, and um, Amanda's been around for a long time. Her and her sister, Sydney, have um, been a boxing sister deal. Come on, they're almost like the uh, boxing equivalent of the uh, Shevashenkos, you know. And, you know, Sydney, uh, Amanda's the younger sister, and she's a little more sister than her older sister. Now, she did, you know, she, she fights for, you know, and for uh, a, you know, a company called Capatico uh, America. Uh, Capatitan America is mostly uh, a majority of a Spanish um, Latino um, organization I think out of uh, Los Angeles and she has done two fights during her career. She's a, a fighter. She's 1-0 oh, and 1 meaning she had one loss and one draw and she and she started back around December of 2017 meaning she's been training in May a little longer than you know a little longer you know, enough, like, I say it was, you know, was at least, I, I, like I said, I recommend that, you know, Kalisha should take more like three years or so, and I think she's been training for a good while, and she didn't premiere till like, um, her first fight was until, um, August of, uh, of, uh, of, of 2018. She had two fights in that year, one in August and one in, in October. And the thing is also, she's been training in jiu-jitsu. She's been doing some jiu-jitsu tournaments. Um, she, uh, also she's winning, you know, she's, a, uh, you know, she's been in, you know, it was just, you know, she's been doing pretty good. You know, she won a tournament, she won a tournament some time ago and, um, and just, you know, she's been doing pretty good. I think was in a, you know, she's been, you know, fighting and you know, she's planning on, you know, since with the pandemic, I think, uh, Kabata Total is a competitive, uh, Kabata America is kind of shut down. I'm, you know. I haven't seen her too many fights lately. I don't follow as much of her, but I'll probably follow a little more. And, um, you know, she's planning on uh, headlining a fight next year. And it's supposed to be in her old backyard, stopping grounds, Puerto Rico. She lives in New York City. And, we, you know, and she's going to be fighting in, in Puerto Rico. That's her, where she's from, her sister. And her last fight was a while ago, was against a, a, a lady by the name of, uh, what was her name again? I remember it was, I forgot the girl's name. But um, that's been a while. She she uh, won that white. With, she won that fight with a standing um, guilty. Not get no no sorry standing rear naked choke. I watched the video because I said well I want to research her a little bit more in May before I do a video about her. So I watched the two videos. The first video she her debut she you know was a draw. Then her second fight um, was a, a submission by rear naked choke, standing rear naked choke. But she's pretty good, you know, you know, she still has a little, some thing to work on, like, you know, her striker is good, you know, she needs to put a little more kicking in her, in her, um, uh, wheel, in her wheel, um, wheel, and, you know, and, um, you know, and also, you know, a little bit, she needs to work on her, um, takedown defense. Her last, her first fight, the girl took her down, you know, it was about the third round, and she was just beating the, you know, the living crap out of, uh, Amanda. But you know she, you know she took it. Cause being a boxer, you take a lot of hits. But this is different taking hits with a, um, these you know four ounce glove compared to maybe 10, 20 ounce gloves. Yeah. But she's you know her like I said, her and sister are the equivalent of boxing's uh, Shevchenko. Sydney's pretty good. Also, Sydney fought an opponent that she that um, been opposed to a fault and that was a uh, 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 Katie Taylor. And as you know, this fight was supposed to happen around this this summer, I think it was. But then it got canceled because of the whole thing with COVID. But I said before, it was something to do with Eddie Hearn and about money and whatever else. Uh, you know, she could have quarantined someplace for a while and then they could have had to fight. She, she still, you know, like I said, Taylor was there to fight for uh, Pursun. Pursun don't even live. She lives in another part of the of Europe. 
But like I said, you know, as long as she's in the backyard, that was it, you know, whatever. You know, they could have fought, it, fought, fought in America because, you know, Kitty Tita fights, lives in Connecticut. But, you know, whatever. But like I said, her sister, Sydney. Oh, wow, I found this picture. Oh, my God, look at those. Wow, ooh. I know she has short hair, but, mm. She might have, like, she might have short hair, but she has a woman's body. <laughs> ooh, wow. Mm -hmm. I'm, look at those hips. Um, I, somebody's Puerto Rican women are just, wow, spritz of breed. You know, you got that little bit of Spanish, that little bit of black, and a little bit. Well, anyway, <laughs> we'll go, we go back on. And Sydney, her, and Ad, imagine herself as an attractive young woman. And I could see her, if she can get maybe a couple more fights in, I think she should go to Bellator. Bellator, they have they have more flexible, um, you know, uh, rules for their fighters. And like, I mean, like, you know, Beck Rollins, she does a um, bare knuckle brawling, you know, and um, I know a couple of fighters, you know, got ki these kill hosts, she does kickboxing, but your know, Bell Bellator don't kickboxing um, um, organization on the side. And, you know, we're hearing Cyborg might be fighting Katie Taylor or maybe see as a seat breakfast in the future, you know. So I think Bellator will probably be a good fit for her. And like I said, she's attractive. You know, she's still young. She's just 32 years old. And like I said, I have a thing for Puerto Rican women. I think, you know, like, Pearl Gonzalez, she's sexy. You know, that'd be a great something. If she ever go to Invicta, you know, because Invicta also has this kind of flexible thing. Because, you know, I remember Alicia um, um, Zapatella fought in Ryzen. And, you know, and, you know, and she fights as a flyweight, you know, at um, Compate. Uh, Compate. But like I said, she's probably good. She would make a good, you know, fight over there. And if she does ever get picked by the UFC, you know, she might have to drop up her boxing career. But you know, if Dana White was smart, he should take advantage of that. You know, you know, you, especially you got a, she's pretty, she's young, and she can fight, and she has that Barica pride. I mean, like I said, I just have a thing about Puerto Rican women. I think they're sexy. It's like that mix of three different races, and you just got this, you know, this uh, you know, beautiful woman out of it. But anyway. I support, um, you know, Amanda Serrano, the real deal, and I think she's the genuine deal compared to to um, Carissa Shields. Carissa Shields is like she needs at least to take at least three years. She starts now, and I think she should make her debut in MMA like in um, 2023. I mean, you know, get you, do do the smart thing, do what you know what um, Amanda do, do some of the, like the uh, BJJ tournaments for a while, do your box on the side. You know, do a couple of fights and build up some money. Cause, and don't, and also, I can say this, I sent a video to you, like, Christian, stay away from the Winko John Jim. And Winko Jackson Jim. Stay away from Winko Jackson. Stay away from them. Tinkle, Tinkle Winko Little Star. They did not know. Like I said, go to Brazil. He wants to some BJJ. Go travel. You know, make your money in boxing and travel. But like I said, you know, Romana Serrano did the right thing. She started out at the bottom and she climbed her way up. And I think I say if she fight a couple more fights in Compatite, I can see her get a call from Scott Coker or maybe even going to the Victor, maybe someday even going to the UFC. Anyway, much respect to the real deal, Amanda Serrano, and also <laughs> much respect to her sister, Sydney. Mm. <laughs> I tried not to go with Percy Sage a little early in the, in the day for that. <laughs> anyway, you know. It's your man, all the way is George Page. Like, don't like, don't subscribe. I'm out.